What's happening guys? Welcome to part two in the series on how to use IBM personality insights to create customer profiles and personas. So in the last video, we went through how to create a service, how to generate API credentials, and how to install the Watson Developer Cloud SDK for Python. In this video, what we're going to be doing is actually creating a profile. So we'll We'll grab a block of text, we'll throw it into the API service and we'll generate a profile from there. So this is actually a really interesting step because you'll actually start to see some of the insights that you're generating from that text. So again, we're going to be extracting the needs, the big five personality traits or personality profile, and we're also going to be extracting the profile values. So out of that, you'll get quite a fair bit of information. In the video after this, we're actually going to look at how to visualize that information so that it's a little bit easier to digest rather than just working with the JSON string. Nonetheless, let's get right into it. Okay, so now that you've got your API credentials generated and you've installed Watson Developer Cloud, the next thing that you're going to want to do if you're working with Jupyter Notebooks, if you're working with Python uh, scripts, that's perfectly fine as well. I find Jupyter a little bit easier to work with. So what we'll do is we'll spin up a notebook and from here, we'll just drag that over. We'll just create a new notebook and let's call this uh, personality insights demo. What we're going to do is we're going to import some packages first up. So because we need to work with the Watson developer cloud SDK, we're going to import that first up and from that we're just going to grab the personality insights bit so let's go for it so from watson developer cloud import personality l i t y insights b3 cool all right so that's imported the personality that's uh, SDK. All right, cool. So we've got that and then we're going to import JSON to pass our response. Boom. We're doing well. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is create an instance of the personality insights service. So for that, we're going to need three things. So we'll need a URL based on where our service is actually spun up. So remember how I spun it up in Sydney in the last video. So we're going to grab the URL for that particular resource location. We're going to need the API key, which we generated when we created our credentials. And we're also going to need the version of the API that we're actually going to be hitting. So even though we've got the version three here or got version three here, we'll actually need a API version as well, which also comes, um, which you can find on the IBM website, but I'll give you the latest version that we're working with now. Okay, let's create a service. So, for this, we're going to call it, actually, we'll call it profile because what we're actually going to get back is a profile. Oh, actually, no, not yet. So we're going to call this service and we are going to call it, or we're going to call personality insights. So we're creating a new instance of this object. All right. And then we're going to call, we'll need to pass through one keyword argument. So URL and then uh, I am API key. And then we'll also need a version. All right, we need a comma here. So before that, we're going to create a variable to hold our URL. And you can actually grab your URL. So if you jump back over to your dashboard page where you created your initial service, you can actually grab the URL here. So it's this URL. So we'll just copy that and paste that into a string. Perfect. And then we'll also paste our API key which we copied before and paste that in as well. And we should be able to pass the URL in here, the IP API key in here, and then we need the version. So I believe the latest version is 2017. So 13th of October, 2017. And if all has worked well, we should have a service. And it doesn't look like we've got any issues there. So it looks like we're all okay. Okay, now you can begin creating an actual profile. So to do this, 
what we're going to need is a block of text to actually interpret or create a profile. So if you've got a text file, you can load that up as well. But let's just go grab some text from the big wide web. So one of the blocks of text that I found quite interesting for this was the Warren Buffett letters. So you just type in Warren Buffett uh, letters to his shareholders. And if you go to 2017, you can see that he's got a huge letter here in which he analyzes performance and whatnot. So we'll just grab it from here. So what we'll actually be doing is creating a profile of Warren Buffett, really. So we'll just copy this text and let's create a text string. Let's paste that in there and put it inside of triple quotes just to make our life a little bit easier. Perfect. All right, so that looks fine. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a profile. So we'll go create a new variable. So we're going to store our profile instead of inside of this profile variable. And we're going to call our service. So we created our service up here. So now we're going from our service, we're going to create a profile. So we'll call profile and then we'll pass through our text string. And then we need to tell the service or the, the method that we're running, the profile method, what type of data we're actually passing it. So in this instance, we're going to create or set the variable. So it's content type is basically the argument that you're passing through. And if you're passing through text, you need to pass through text forward slash plain and you can get rid of the comma there. And then what we actually want to do is we, so this is just creating an instance. We need to get the result back. So we can append another method to that called get result. And we have missed a T there. Perfect. All right, so that should have created our profile. So that will go and run and you can see there it's finished. So what you can do is you can check whether or not there were any warnings when you created that profile by just checking the profile warnings keyword. And you can see that we've got no warnings there. Let's just double check the length. I'm paranoid, got no warnings, all is run completely fine. Now what we can do is we can actually print this out. So the, the result that we've actually got back is a JSON string, so we can pass that. So what we'll do is we'll print and we'll call JSON dumps and we will run that on profile. Let's just set the indent to two just so we can read it a little bit better. Alrighty, cool. So you can see here that we've got our result back and it's processed 8,263 words. It's picked up that the language is in English. It's gone through and created a personality uh, feature. And from here, you can see that we've got the big five personality traits. So you can analyze that and you've got a whole bunch of extra stuff there. So what we can do is we can take a look at some of that. So if we took a look at profile and we took a look at personality, you can see that we're going to have a couple of different components to this. And this is because what you actually get back is five different, uh, the five different parts of the big five personality pro profile. So if we actually take a look at the first one, you can see that this is actually returning back a result which looks at adventurousness, artistic interests, emotionality, imagination, intellect, authority, challenging, and openness. If you look at the second, this one's taking a look at how, to what degree their achievements driving, their cautious, uh, dutiful, orderliness, that type of thing. And if you keep going through, there should be five of them. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And then you'll also have a, so let's just check what else we've got in here. And you can see that we've actually got a few different uh, keys that we can actually tap into. So we've got the word count, perfectly fine. Process language, again, fine. We've already taken a look at warnings and we've taken a look at personality. But what you've also got 
are the needs and values components of the profile. So we can take a look at those. And this will tell you, try to identify the needs of the particular person that you're taking a look at. So in here, you can see that they've got a need or it's looking at the, the degree to which they have a need for this. So challenge, closeness, curiosity, excitement, harmony, ideal, liberty, love, practicality, self-expression. These all seem like kind of low values. So this, this is just returning the percentile. So it's a degree to which they express that particular trait. And let's take a look at the last one, which will be values. All right, and you can see here the values that are being returned. So we've got conservation, openness to change, hedonism, self-enhancement, and self-transcendence. So you can see here that it's actually returned quite a fair few components of that particular profile. Um, what we can do, I mean, right now it doesn't look so great because we're just looking at a particular JSON string. What we can actually do is visualize this a little bit better to get some more information. And that's exactly what we'll do in the next video. So stay tuned. We're going to jump over to that. If you found this video useful, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Peace.